Hello, and welcome back to Magnificent Mixolydian, Part 2! violist, composer, arranger, and music educator based in Manchester, UK. The main focus of today's video is actually to play a Swedish folk tune. This tune is called Visselblösoren, and I think that means the whistleblower. As with like all folk music, everybody learns it differently, but mostly we learn it by ear. So we just listen to the tune and then we play it back. Make sure you watch my bowing uh, because that's what makes it a lot easier to play. Before we get into playing the tune, I just wanted to show you a type of bowing. The informal name is called Shushine Bowing. And this is gonna be a heavy feature of Wisselblösoren. So we're doing a long down and then we do up, down, 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 up, until we get back to the heel. Okay, so let's try that together now. One, and two, and one, and two, and... Get the idea? As you can see, I'm using a long down bow, and then I'm doing recouping the bow through the short notes. So long, one long down bow, and then doop 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 to get back to the heel. Let's give it one more go. Same thing. And... If you've got loads and loads of doobah 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 doobs, uh, you need to make sure that you just save the bow to make sure you don't get through too much, but otherwise you're going to run out of bow and go up here. <laughs> Let's try a similar one. This time we're going to do doobah 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 for two bars. So one long down bow at the beginning still. Just join him when you fancy. Awesome! Awesome job! Now we're nice and warmed up, let's get on with playing the tune. So we're going to do two bars, and I want you to repeat the two bars afterwards in the gap, and we will do each two bars twice. The A section has eight bars, so there's going to be four mini sections. Let's go nice and slow to start with. One, two, one, two. So that's you. There it comes again. Okay, next set. One, two. Third set, here it comes. One, two. And last one. One, two. So we're cranking it up a notch. Same idea though, uh, two bar sections, each repeated twice. Here we go. One, two, one, two. So that's you again. Okay, and the second one. 
One, two. Okay, third section. One, two. Last section, one, two. So now we're nearly at full speed. Same idea, two bars on, two bars off. Here we go. One, two, one, two. So let's play at the last speed we just got to. This time we're going to play the entire of the A part. Uh, we're going to play it four times. I'm going to play it four times. I want you to join in as soon as you can. Uh, I'll do a nice count in so we can hope if you remember the first note, uh, it's an A. <laughs> uh, we will hopefully do it four times together. Here it comes. One, two, three, and. part. Same idea, actually it's also eight bars, um, so we'll do two bar sections repeated twice. Here comes the first bit. Nice and slow to start with again. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Second part, one, two. Nice, third section, one, two. Cranking it up on the B section now. Remember, two two bar phrases. Two bars on for me, two bars on for you. Ready, and one, two, one, two. That's you. Next one. One, two. Thank you. 
Third part. One, two. And last section. One, two. And here comes nearly full tempo of the B section. One, two, one, two. Next one, this is the tricky one. One, two. Third part, one, two. Similar to the first. Oops, one, two. Nice, last one. One, two. So there's two extra notes we need to add into this piece when we start doing repeats. We're going to play the upbeat to the B part and we'll play the B part four times now. The upbeats are quavers. Uh, e, C. So I'm going to count in one, two, three, and we're going to come in on and. Here comes the B part four times. Join in when you can. One, two, three, four. So you've learned the A part separately and the B part separately. All you need to do now is stitch them together. The way we play it is we do two A parts and then two B parts and then we go back to the beginning. So let's do the whole thing twice. After four. One, two, three, and... Well done. I hope you found that useful. 
I will admit the bowing is a bit tricky to get used to, so make sure you go back to the slower sections in order to practice that a little bit more. In the coming weeks, we're going to be looking at the Aeolian and the Locrian mode, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep updated with all these new things. I'm now going to leave you with the backing of the tune so you can play the tune at full speed all by yourself. There'll be a couple of rounds through. Have fun, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye! Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. One, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go!